All you need to know about the Elgato Wavelink in less than 5 minutes. This quick tip episode is brought to you by Restream. Learn how to maximize your reach online when streaming with Restream to multiple live streaming services at once. Check out the link in the video description down below to get a $10 Restream credit. Elgato's Wavelink is an audio mixing software which allows streamers to have greater control over their streaming audio. The Wavelink software exclusively works with the Elgato Wave products. If you are not having an Elgato Wave microphone or a Wave XLR connected to your system, you will not be able to use this software. The software's interface is split in two sections. At the top there are inputs and at the bottom there are the outputs. Speaking of outputs, the Wavelink software provides you with two independent audio outputs. The monitor mix is the audio you are listening to on your system and the stream mix is the audio which will be sent to your live streaming software. For each input there are two volume sliders and mute buttons, one set for the monitor mix and one for the stream mix. By hovering over a free input slot and pressing the plus sign, a new input can be added. The names of inputs shown on top of the list correspond to the audio playback devices that were installed together with the Elgato Wavelink software on your system. Only add as many inputs as you need for audio sources that require to have independent volume controls. A good basic setup consists for example of system, music and voice chat. To make software send your audio to those inputs, we have to enter the advanced audio settings, which can be found at the top right corner of the Elgato Wavelink software. In this window, in the App Volume and Device Preferences window, all applications which can send audio to your system are listed. By changing the master volume to Wavelink system, we are sending all sounds to the second input of our Wavelink mixer. To handle software independently from each other, we now need to send certain applications audio to different inputs. In this example, I'm sending Spotify's audio to Wavelink Music. This allows me to control Spotify's volume independently from the system volume. If the software has built-in audio settings like Discord, you can also change those settings inside the app. In the case of Discord, the output device has to be changed to Wavelink Voice Chat in order to send the voice call audio to the voice chat input in the Wavelink software. With all those inputs configured, the stream mix can now be added to your live streaming software. In case of the live streaming software I use, which is the Restream Live Studio, a website which allows you to live stream directly from within your browser, I simply have to go to the settings, input device and then select the wave stream mix. When using other applications, for example OBS, you can simply select the wave stream mix in the audio settings for your microphone. Lastly, with the ear icon on the right of your output section, you can select on what audio stream you want to listen in. If you are uncertain if some inputs are too loud or too quiet for your stream, simply click on the ear icon for your stream mix and you will hear exactly what your stream will hear. And with that, you now know everything you have to know about the Elgato Wavelink software in order to be able to set it up according to your local system setup. If this video helped you at any point, make sure to let me know by writing a comment or at least liking this video. And if you like this style of video, why not subscribe to my channel or check out one of my other videos. Speaking of my other videos, we are now here on the end card and why don't you check out one of those two videos here on the end card. I'm pretty sure if you're still watching this video, you will also enjoy those videos. Once again, I am Greeny, this is Greenbox. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye!